Hi guys. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about our new SCA1E Pro Shocks. So this is brand new from um, Charisma Scale Adventure. So I thought I would give you a little um, detailed discussion about these shocks. You know, why? Why these uh, being made and um, being offered? So this is the packaging. So I'm going to go through everything. It's like a open package video. So the item number is uh, 16 So 16,000. So it comes with a beautiful uh, box. And the box, at the back of the box, is the uh, instruction manual. Well, some of you probably are familiar with Charisma Racing is that we have a little racing car, the GDB, and then before was the GD14B. And we want to offer the same level of quality, which is beyond the RTL or the kit, or the kit manuals. Uh, these are basically uh, race shocks that modify to the Scale Adventure series. So as you can see, the SAE Pro Shocks is for SAE 1E series. When you open the box, you lift the card, you see a package. So the package will come with all the essential components you need to build these shocks. So if you are comfortable building race shocks, then you have no problem with these because these are the same components that we use in our race in our race cars. And then these are all new. So we got the springs. So and these are the the new shock bodies. Oops. Now the shock bodies come away with the the new aluminium. It's all black, so you get a stealthy look. So the shock top collar, and then he has the bottom collar, and then. You have this. This is the the shock tension adjuster. So this is very important. So they, they take this out. Sorry. As you can see, these are all beautifully black anodized. So it gives you the added stealth look. There are so many cars we could have done, but we wanted to give it the really stealthy race look. And inside, I don't know if you can see it, it's beautifully polished. Now what that means is, because this is originally is a race shock, we wanted to have the smoothest um, shock action so it's not sticky um, and it's ultra smooth and then in the other package we have these little components now i'm going to go through them so i'm going to take this out so try it out these are all the internal components that makes our ray shocks. So hope you can see this very clearly. So we have the shock diaphragm, the O-ring, Eclipse, stud, ball studs, shock shaft, sealed O-rings. And these are the plastic parts, more O-rings, uh, and then the, the cartridge spacers, um, spring retainer, shock pistons, now this is a freehold uh, 
this is like a pawn, pawn seven or pawn eight by three. And we at Carisum, we also offer multiple uh, piston hole size, so you can tune your shocks. And this is a shock top. So what you get is four set of these, and these are all in a nice, beautiful package. Why is it out of focus? Okay, there you go. And uh, this box, um, when you finish building, it will be a great pass box. So what I'm going to do is build one shop. So what you do is you take the shop um, main body. We want to build the cartridge here. So let's get this building. And you need to know you need these parts. So take one of these. these and you need two of these yeah. okay so this is what you need so first you put the smallest piece inside first. And it's always good to put this, make sure it sits flat in the cartridge, in the area. Then you want to put two rings. Now, at this point, you will want to put the top on, and then you secure it. Like this. Make sure it's tight. Always a good idea to add a drop or two in the cartridge now. Oh, sorry. And always good idea to remove the, the cap. Yeah. So add a drop or two. That's all you need. Okay? And then bring your best friend. Tifu is your best friend today. So do it like this. So make sure it's clean. Nice clean. Then you want to build a shock shaft. So I'm gonna take one out. and don't scratch it, okay? And then you need the Eclipse, our best friend Eclipse. Best friend number two, everybody loves Eclipse. All right, then always protect, try not to scratch it. So you put the Eclipse here, the two slots, and then be very careful snap the a clip to the shaft that's one okay and then you want a shock piston so i'm going to take so again it comes with a free hole I think a 0.7 or 0.8 by 3. That's our standard. So put a shovel and then lock it with another E clip. Probably use a smaller one. Again, snap it in. Okay, install to the shock shaft. And this is a, um, I think it's a 1 by 3. And then we also have different uh, pistons kit. So item number 14896, you get a 1.2 by 3 or 1.3 by 3. So this is a very good tuning kit. So make sure this is seated properly. And then 
you want to use a knife and clean there will always be some a little bit of flash here so clean up the piston edges it's only the edges just clean up a little bit some people use sandpaper you know if you're really really picky so don't cut yourself so just gonna take the edge off a little bit so. okay then you want to put there these are the shot cartridge so you put the small one in first oh before you do that make sure I would use a 3.1 drill to open up the hole a little bit again just to clean up the flash a little bit that's all so make sure just there's a step there make sure it's sitting flat so make sure it's sitting perfectly flat two o-rings one two and then the top cartridge again I use a 3.1 millimeter drill to clean the flash just a little bit make sure there's no binding and then make sure it's just there's a step make sure it's sitting correctly and then close the, the end cap and then I use 10 weight the thinnest oil possible so first I you put a small drop there inside the cartridge and then you want to be very generous with the shock shaft and then just slowly careful try not to scratch the o-ring okay so next I will install you say um, don't make sure you don't um, scratch the shock shaft I use this tool it's easy install the shock end some people do it later but I like to do it now it's easier so make sure it's all the way to the bottom. And then add some oil. Oops. So there you go. And then just move up and down slowly. Make sure there's no bubble. So at this point, you are close to a filling, so it adds a little bit more. So make sure it's all the way to the top. Then there's a shock diaphragm. You have to do it very carefully. Just slide it on top. And then put the shock top there. And shock top cap. Now, you don't want to really tighten it now. What you want to do now is a very tricky bit you want to move the shock shaft up slowly it's going to bleed everywhere but that's fine and then you use you want to while holding the shock shaft into this position you tighten the shock top and it's going to get messy but that's fine and then you feel it up and down and there you go super smooth shocks for your SA when you and of course get your tissue to clean up so that's a good shock feel it comes out a little bit super smooth super smooth so I use 10 weight. Um, you can use different ways to try. Um, 
if you use 20, 25, 35, it's going to feel a little bit more. The rebound is going to be slower. That depends on the position of your vehicles. I mean, if your shop, if your chassis is front heavy, I would be used a little bit heavier oil at the front. And then if your um, chassis is rear heavy, rear bias, then I will use heavier oil on the rear. So it depends. And then you can also remember, you can tune, you can use different, if you say, oh, okay, I, I don't want to use 10, you can use 1.2, 1.3 by 3. And then you can use 20, 30, it's up to you. So this is all tunable. So I hope this gives you a good um, introduction of how to build the 16,000 uh, item number, 16,000 uh, SA when you pro shocks. And uh, enjoy. Thank you. Why we build this? Okay, because you can adjust the shock action. Now, shock action is very important for racing, also rock crawling. Too much thicker the oil, um, the, the bump and rebound action is slow. Too thin is too fast. Now, we have to depend on the weight of your car and the weight bias of your vehicle you will sometimes have to adjust the front and rear shock oil and in some cases you have to adjust the shock pistons now we offer a piston kit that offers different shock piston and oil size uh, hole sizes not oil size what am i talking about um, so bigger the holes or more holes gives you faster faster action in simple terms um, smaller or less holes gives you different action so what, ha what you have to do is to experiment different things um, and this is the reason why we have this because it has so much accessibility uh, it gives super smooth shock action and it's race proof uh, many years of uh, racing has uh, taught us many things even though they are 14 scale but they are by no means uh, less competitive they're still very competitive so we use those knowledge we learn from racing to turn into rock crawling scaling now I will recommend to experiment different weight different shock piston size so if you're a very heavy vehicle you might want to dampen it a little so it depends because in rock crawling or scaling when you go over the the, the, the bumps or you go for the rocks you you always want to weight the front wheels you use the weight as your advantage and you let gravity to do the work, mostly. It's not like you are doing a racing around a corner or do a jump. This category of vehicle, you want to let gravity to help you do the work. And gravity times the weight will dictate how fast your car will dive and how fast it comes back up. Now you want to tune this. So if you want to, if the area you're playing is very rough and your car is very front heavy, then you may want to tune the front shocks different from the rear shocks. And this is part of the fun and you can experiment, you can play and you can adjust to your vehicle and to your liking. So I hope this little video uh, gives you more understanding of our new Charisma Pro Shocks and um, we have spent this is many years of racing experience we turned into a, this product 
and I hope you enjoy uh, your next adventure and enjoy building your shops.